one. Drink beer. And listen. Stage two. After a good few listens, whack it into your door and figure out some patterns. It's going to be really rough at the minute. You just want to find out where the best sense of having the vocal in the track is. What gives it the most, the greatest hook or impact, that sort of thing. So let's go. <laughs> Stage three. Once you get your vocals recorded in the door, you can then move on to the lyrics. So open up a word document, listen back to where your vocal patterns are, and you, certain syllables might jump out at you, and then you can uh, start constructing the lyrics. The song I'm currently working on is called Knuckle Supper, one to come out in the future. But uh, yeah, if you're anything like Roasted, then your lyrical content will be 100% death metal, which means you have the subject matters of death, torture, and cannibalism to work with, or preferably all three at once in the same song. Stage four, record! to do now is go back in let's have a listen back and trim up any excess bits on the vocals any sort of background noise that sort of thing basically just tidying up and analyzing let's have a listen here vocals recorded yeah cool Right, stage six. Uh, uh, just going through, tidied everything up. The only effect that I ever use on my death metal vocals nowadays is a compressor, a hard rock vocal compressor. That's it, nothing else. So most of the vocals are pretty good. I've tightened everything up uh, as regards to uh, recording time before and after. Uh, just this vocal here and another one I've noticed have got a bit of a bit too much of a p at the beginning So I could probably sort that out in Cubase, but I don't want to I want to get it right the first time so, so You've got that coming in So I'm gonna re-record those two vocals and then listen back and that's pretty much now the whole method From now until release is just keep listening keep tweaking. That's it that's my method for recording death metal vocals. Goodbye. <laughs>